Hey guys, so she just started feeding like after the last video I filmed, so I thought I may as well, you know, talk about my breastfeeding journey then. Um, obviously I've been super public about my feeding journey and all of the complications that we've had um, since the start, but we are still going and we are going strong. Uh, I enjoy it most of the time. It is hard work, very time consuming and limiting as well. Initially at the hospital after she was born, she left straight away. I mean, it's a natural instinct for most babies. And then afterwards, obviously when she needed to feed uh, again, after we all settled down, after she had a nap, um, she wouldn't latch. So um, I had to stay in hospital an extra three days because she literally never latched to move again. So I was hand expressing into a syringe, literally milking myself like a cow. It took like an hour to get a mill. You know, a mill's like this much. You know, like, it was awful. It was seriously a time to be alive. Really wasn't fun. I needed the help of a lot of midwives. My partner was helping me. My best friend was helping me. It was really hard work. And I was really just sad that she wasn't latching. I was like, what are we gonna do? She latched once and it was so painful, like the most painful thing ever. Like I was like, I can't do this, this is awful. And because of her low blood sugar, you know, being on the lower percentile weight end um, from birth, if he did like every two hours on the dot, so every, you know, I would hand express, try to get it to latch, she wouldn't latch, hand express, like it was, it was awful. Um, so I reached out to people on Instagram and obviously asked, you know, what do people do when they've got latch issues and a few people um, recommended the shield and honestly, thank the lords for those people who recommended that because I never would have made this breastfeeding journey if it wasn't for the shields. Um, so I use shields for the next five to six weeks I believe it was the only way she would latch they are they're not annoying they're a lifesaver like I literally couldn't have done this without it um we saw a lactation consultant found out she had tongue tie I didn't really want to do anything about it I really wanted to do a bit of rehab see if we could avoid any type of um release but then we decided to go down um the scissor route so we just saw a dentist in Cooperoo um child's dentist um infant what is, there's a special name anyway um we just got a tongue snipped just a little webbing they snipped that it was really quick she slept for the rest of the day um so yeah it was pretty good and then maybe a week later she magically latched and um she has been latching ever since which is awesome uh, which makes obviously breastfeeding a lot easier. Initially at the start of my breastfeeding journey, obviously, you know, everyone, uh, you know, labors differently, births different. I personally think it has an effect on your supply. Uh, the only thing we haven't had an issue with pretty much the whole time is my supply. Um, I've been very lucky. I do have quite a large supply, um, an over supply, and I think I established that from the start. So pretty much, I was pumping from day three, like six times a day, to make sure that I had enough milk for her. So not only did I have enough milk for her, I had enough milk for lots of other babies as well, because I donated a bit. Um, are you done, sweetie? No, no. Are you showing everyone your mullet? Are you showing everyone your mullet? Can I have my hair back? You want some more booby? Um, I mean, initially with my supply, I um, took milky goodness, lactation cookies, and granola before I gave birth, and then every single day afterwards for the first couple of months, which I do believe that really helped my supply. Um, I also used body ice woman ice packs because when your milk comes in, oh my god, it's literally the most painful thing ever. Your boobs are so hot and hard and like you need an ice pack like every couple of minutes, like it's hectic. Um, so that's, that's a must have. 
I like don't even hardly wear breastfeeding bras. Like it's annoying that you have to like unclip them. So I like just wear camisoles so I can just pull across. It's really handy. But um, yeah, so we um, have, what are we? We're five months next week. So we've been breastfeeding for five months. Um, my initial aim was to go for six months. Um, initially, obviously with every single obstacle we faced, um, it really seemed unattainable for me to reach the six month mark. I've had mastitis six times. I lost my supply once from it. Um, I freaked out because I gave all my milk to the ICU, um, <laughs> which was hilarious. You know, we had all that tissues, mastitis. I've got also a condition called nipple vasospasm. It's, um, sweetie, do you want more boob or what are you doing? I think it's from having my nipples pierced. Um, it's where the blood doesn't go end of your nipple, so every single latch is like the most excruciating thing ever, and it's like way more painful than it should be. Um, obviously, the initial latch in the first couple of weeks are awful for feeding. Like it's really painful. It's really hard. It's exhausting. You feel like a milk machine. Um, it does get better, but um, it's a worth it. It's really all worth it. So I plan to reach a year now. Um, I've got seven months to go. I would do it easily, like on the boob, it's easy. Um, I express morning to night. We do um, a bottle feed from my express milk to put her to sleep and first thing in the morning, just so we know she's getting a big feed. Um, we do that as 150 mils. Um, it's just a good gauge so we know, you know, she's going to bed with a full stomach and waking up with a full stomach because on the boob, obviously, we don't really know how much she's drinking. So, um, the expressing, I hate expressing. It's so annoying. Um, <laughs> I literally am so depressed every time I have to express. I don't know why. It gives me a break. Like, the morning and the nighttime feed is a really nice break for me. You know, I can get stuff ready for the next day in the morning. I you know, make breakfast and do all of the little things when, you know, people are... You know, obviously, when everyone goes to work and does things for the day, I don't have a lot of help, so um, it is pretty awesome. But that was my breastfeeding kind of journey. I haven't really jot anything down, so I am just winging it. But, like, I have had a lot of people um, ask out for help um, for feeding, and obviously, 100% I'm willing to help you because... Um, <coughs> You know, I think for me, I really wanted to breastfeed. I didn't realize it was going to be this hard. Honestly, breastfeeding is harder than labor and giving birth combined. Labor and giving birth disappears, you know, after a couple of weeks, a couple of months. But, you know, breastfeeding, if you're going to commit to it for at least a year, you know, it's a bit of a, bit of a journey. So, um... Yeah, we're just gonna keep on chugging through and hopefully we don't come um, through any more obstacles. Um, the shit thing that I found out with breastfeeding, I don't know about any other mums out there, but I got my period really early after birth at three months. So I've had um, three periods already and it really affects my supply. Like I express, um, I use the express like 150 mils from each boob and lately I've been getting 60 to 90. So it's like, really, it's not a good time, but, um, you know, you just got to take the good with the bad and keep on chugging on as long as this girl's happy. I think we're doing, um, you know, things right and playing our cards right. Hey, sweetie. Are you happy, girl? Huh? Say hello. Sweetie, what's up? What's up, dear? He doesn't want to say hello. I covered everything in that video. I really should have like jotted things down. I feel like I'm not prepared for winging it these days. Anyway, if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment or if um, you know missed anything or anyone wants to ask questions because 100% um, happy to help you. I feel like we've had every issue ever in breastfeeding. <laughs> So, and you know, we conquered it, we got through, it was a lot of determination, you know, a lot of tears, um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, um, there's so much, you know, pressure on everyone and, you know, some people are lucky, breastfeeding is a natural thing for them, unfortunately, you know, it really wasn't a natural thing for me, I really had to work hard and 
you know, push forward. But I'm glad we got there. Also, anything else everyone wants to see and hear, um, I'm kind of going off memory. But uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks, guys. See ya.